Today is a snow day. Today is a snow day. Look at all my snowmen. Felix really went to town um, on the CVS 75% off sale. We have a lot of snowmen. <laughs> Guys, don't mind my bummy outfit, but today I have a snow day. So I decided to take this opportunity to film a video for you all. I have for you my top 13 of 2013 products for you. It's actually really hard because I feel like I always want to put my current favorites in there, but I have to really resist and like look holistically like throughout the whole year what were my favorite products to use. So, so the first product that I've been just loving so much for like foundation, I use this every day, is the Jouer Matte Tint. Um, matte moisture tint and I love this because it's SPF 15. It's oil free um, It's a little bit thicker than actual regular tinted moisturizers, which is what I really like about it. It is just so amazing So what I love about this is it evens out my skin tone um, It's kind of like this really nice velvety smooth texture it has a really nice matte finish and it almost feels as if there's a primer inside of it, so all of my makeup really adheres well to my face for the whole entire day. Like, my blush still looks so good at the end of the day. Um, and I just, it's just so seamless. This product is just so amazing. I'm actually going to have a full blog post review on this soon, so definitely look out for this because this is an amazing product. I've literally been using this every single day. The next product is my eyeshadow palette, and this is the Lorac Pro. I have gotten so, so, like so many eyeshadow palettes, and I think the Lorac Pro one was probably my favorite of 2013. I have clearly used this a lot. There are dents in every single color. I like that this is a nice neutral palette. It has warm and some cool, but it's more on the warm side. But it has shimmery shades, and they're more satin finishes. And it has all these matte shades that you can really choose from. So it's also really great for traveling because this is super compact. It has a mirror over here. And it just has all the shades that I'll ever need for a smoky eye, for a neutral eye, just for a everyday eye. Um, absolutely love this palette. All the shadows are really creamy and silky and really long-lasting. Um, love the pigmentation. It's excellent. The next product that I've been loving, 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 you guys have heard me rave about this over and over and over again, but it's the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Now, this is an excellent concealer. I am a concealer junkie, so I use so many concealers, but this one has really, really, really done a good job for its price. This one is less expensive. I uh, swear by the Clay de Peau one um, because of its dry yet uh, dry yet creamy formula, and this is very, very similar. It has like a really silky, almost powdery finish, yet it really leaves my complexion radiant and luminous without it having any shimmer. Crazy to even think of that combination, but it's an excellent product. I use this mainly under my eyes, but I use this all over my face to highlight for everything. Literally, so, so good. I, this is actually probably my third or fourth tube already. Um, I just love this product so, so much. The next product, I don't know if this was in my favorites of 2012, but still is my favorite, and it's the Eve Pearl uh, Long Lasting Smudge Proof Brush um, liquid eyeliner and I have gone through multiple ones of these. The thing I love about this is I've tried so many liquid liners. I can only wear liquid liner because of my oily lids. Um, and this one is really smudge proof. It's water, very water resistant. At the end of the day, this is the product that doesn't come off of my eyes. Actually, I went white water rafting with this and I got like splashed so many times. But my eyeliner was still in place, which I really love. And I love that the tip, is you're really able to work with it. You can make thin lines, thick lines. You can really do whatever design you really want with this, which is really, really nice. It's super duper black. And I really love this cap because it, um, it doesn't allow it to dry out, which I really love. The next product that I've been loving are cheek products. And I swear by the NARS blushes. And I have a ton of their blushes. But I've been really loving this. What I love about them is they have a lot of different finishes. The range of blushes from NARS is excellent. So you have really like deep colors, bright colors, mattes, satins, glitters, everything that you could ever imagine. The glitters are not too chunky. They're just, it just gives you the perfect luminosity. Um, they have their Laguna bronzer, which I really love. For some skin colors, I think it could be a little muddy, but um, for mine, it looks excellent. Their highlighters are really nice. 
I just love their how versatile um, NARS blushes are. Um, and they're really long-lasting on my skin, especially when I use the Jouer. So good. I think I've hit pan or four or five of them, and I have a lot of NARS blushes. So definitely love that. The next product that I have loved for 2013, this one has been the one that I have been using consistently for all of 2013, and it is the Leo Ali Auto Eyebrow. And what I love about this is that it has just the most natural coloring um, for an eyebrow pencil. I love that it's triangular shaped at the tip, so it really you can do a nice thick line, a nice thin line. You can really um, go in on your like eyebrow shape, which is really lovely. Uh, and I love that it has a spoolie on the side to really kind of tame your brows. And this is an overall really great product. I have this in like the, uh, this ashy color, which is this beautiful gray. Matches perfectly, perfectly, perfectly with my brows. This mascara I've talked about so many times. You probably you guys are sick of it. But I love this Fairy Drops um, mascara. I love, the Fairy, um, I love the Fairy Drops line in general. But um, when I was introduced to this by Betty of imamoko.com, she said that the platinum one is excellent. It uh, really helps to curl your lashes, lengthen, volumize, and it really does. It does everything that I need at once without it being heavy. But this is like light, yet it gives me volume. It gives me so much good stuff. I love this. The next products are lip products, and I have been loving the Rouge Volupte shines and this is their shine formula they're actually their uh, regular line the rouge volupte line um i have a, a lot of hard time with their lip products because for me they're really nice and silky and smooth but i feel like it really enhances my dry lips and so the shine formula is a lot more hydrating but i just i love the packaging of it i love this formula of this lipstick um and Definitely give this a try. If you think the Rouge Volupts are a little bit too uh, pigmented, this is a really great option. Their sheer balms are really nice as well, um, but I really like these for lipsticks. Another lipstick that I've been loving, I think Too Faced and Urban Decay have really stepped it up with their lipsticks, but my Too Faced lipsticks really earn the prize for me because the, the thing about these are that they're not so thick. They're really silky yet smooth, they're really moisturizing, but they're not too thick to the point where it feels like, ugh. It's just the right amount of like thickness, but it's not sticky. They're just so, so smooth. And I love how long lasting they are on my lips. I love their color range for it. Um, I love that they're really creamy. This is what I hope that the Rouge Volupte line uh, felt like, but Too Faced really got it down. And I love the packaging, it's so sleek and pretty. Now in terms of lip gloss, my favorites by far have been the Jouer lip glosses. I love these so, so much. And these are my two absolute favorite colors. I have Divine, definitely a Your Lips But Better color, and this in Peony, which looks amazing on regularly, or it looks amazing layered on anything. Um, I love these formulas because they're really moisturizing. They just have the perfect amount of opacity. They're so, so moisturizing and they're not sticky. They just feel so rich and luxurious on your lips. I love these because I think it has like vitamins in it, so it's really great for your lips as well. Um, just absolutely been loving these. The next products that I've been loving, loving, loving are my Bubby brushes. And as you guys know, Bubs is one of my really great friends here on YouTube. And I'm just so thankful that I know her and she sent me her whole entire line of brushes, and I absolutely adore them. I've been using them nonstop, um, but I've really fallen in love with this, uh, these two brushes in particular. So this is going to count as one, sorry. Um, and their buffer brush is just so amazing for my face powder. It just blends effortlessly. The density is beautiful. Hair does not fall out, which is really, really nice. Um, I love how soft everything is. You can tell that she put a lot of time and effort into making these brushes. This one is excellent for like everything else in the world. I use this for my bronzer. I use this for my blush. I use this uh, to dab for my uh, translucent powder under my eyes. I use this for highlight. I use this for everything. Love these. 
Um, my second to last product is the Batiste Dry Shampoo. I've probably gotten through about five-ish bottles of this this past year. Yeah, it sounds like I'm a really nice, dirty girl. But I love the Batiste Dry Shampoo. I think it's one of the only dry shampoos that doesn't leave a white film on my hair. Um, I really, really love this a lot. The thing about this dry shampoo is it really refreshes my hair, it volumizes my hair, and it really allows for my hair not to look greasy during those like in-between wash days. The scent is really nice. This one's the floral and flirty blush one. And I love that it doesn't leave white residue. I love it. I love this. The last product that I have been really, really loving of 2013 is the Zoya 3-in-1 Formula Remove Plus. And this is their nail polish remover. I absolutely adore this because not only do I love the packaging, it's not like a pour one, but it's uh, you press the top and it goes down and all the product comes up here. And what I love about this, it doesn't stink. It doesn't smell bad. It smells very non-toxic. It has very mild acetone and so what I love about this also is it gets my nail polish off like a dream like even glitter nail polish it's so easy to get off with this um, with this uh, polish remover and I feel like it almost like nourishes my skin while uh, I'm doing it. You generally when I use nail polish remover my nails feel really brittle and dry afterwards with this it doesn't. It feels like really healthy it feels like very normal like as if I never put on polish or even took off polish. It's really, really nice. I think the formula is excellent, excellent, excellent. I love the packaging. I have literally gone through like multiple ones of these. I'm never going back to any other remover ever again. So, so good. So that was pretty much all of my products 2013. What are your guys' favorite products? I hope you guys enjoyed mine. Um, and I look forward to a really great 2014 with you all. And thank you so much for being with me in all of 2013. I really look forward to getting to know a lot more of you guys in 2014. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!